All right, hi everybody, good evening. <clears throat> good evening. Welcome to tonight's 60 minute powerful flow class. I'm really excited that you made it here. I mean that. Um, today's practice will use two yoga blocks and one yoga strap. If you don't have those things, um, grab something that will help you steady yourself with your hands against the floor instead of blocks. So maybe books or shoe boxes, certain board game boxes might be good. And if you don't have a strap, grab a dish towel or maybe like another pair of leggings or a scarf. We'll do some shoulder flossing. Um, so two blocks and a strap if you have it. There's a playlist below if you're interested in listening to it while we flow together. You don't have to. Um, and I also wanted to say today's class is focused on um, quite a bit of back bending. We'll be doing a lot of belly down back bending on the floor, which builds a ton of strength through your core and your upper back. Um, and we'll also do a little bit of standing back bending. But that said, that is uncomfortable for any reason. I'll give lots of different options for poses so you can find what feels best for you. But like truly always, if something that I'm offering is just like not working for you today, permission to do absolutely anything that serves your practice. Um, just a disclaimer that I like to get. All right, we're gonna get started in child's pose. You can meet me there now. I am pressing play on the playlist at this very moment. And you can take your time finding a comfy child's pose spot for yourself. Let your toes touch or fall close together behind you, knees open as wide as feels good. Start to let your chest melt forward and down, crawling your fingertips forward. And in these first couple moments here before we start doing anything on purpose together, I want you to see if you can let yourself kind of drop into the natural heaviness of your body. Let your chest be pulled by gravity down towards the earth. Let your hips soften and rest heavy back towards your feet. Just take a minute to check in with yourself here. How are you feeling? How does your body feel? Just making a mental note of anything that feels really obvious off the bat, places of tension, soreness, something that feels really good. Take a moment to note your emotional state, just making space for whatever's here. And as you drop even more into your body here, notice the sensation of the air against your skin. Feel the texture of your mat beneath your fingertips and your toes. Start to deepen your breath here, taking a big full breath in, expanding your rib cage in all directions. And then a big slow breath out, inviting more heaviness, more softness. Two more like that, big breath in, thinking about lengthening through your fingertips. And a big breath out, imagining your butt scooching closer towards your feet. One more big nourishing breath like that. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Good, gently press yourself up. Start to make your way to Sphinx pose, laying flat on your belly with your legs out behind you. Bring your hands, like your arms, like the number 11 in front of you. Spread your fingertips wide on the ground and find some light engagement through your legs, through your glutes and through your low back. So you're not clenching anything, but you're supported. And start to gently activate through your sphinx, pushing your elbows down, then isometrically dragging them back towards your rib cage, feeling a little 
openness through the chest, maybe some sensations through the low back. And from this place of stability, start to find some movement through your neck, whatever feels good. Maybe you're drawing big circles. Maybe you're looking side to side, up and down. Just checking in with what's here. And if you're not already doing so, I invite you to open and close your mouth and like make really crazy faces that release some tension. It feels extremely strange, but it also feels really good. Couple more breaths here, starting to warm up through the upper back, through the muscles of the core. Take two more breaths, playing with whatever neck movements you're finding. Good. And then gently let yourself come all the way onto your belly. Slide your palm down towards your lowest ribs. We'll warm up the spine with a little more cobra here. So kiss the mat with your nose. And as you breathe in, nice and gentle, peel your chest up off the ground. Good. Now notice what might feel really different to do a cobra this early in class. So pay attention to that push and pull, the, the negotiations you make with your body as it's warming up to keep yourself lifted here. So toenails press into the ground, hips press into the earth, glutes are firm, low back is supportive, cricket your elbows behind you. See if you can lift your chest one inch further up and forward, breathe in here. And as you exhale, gently lower all the way down. We'll roll with the breath three times here. Inhale, cobra pose, peel your heart up. Exhale, lower with just as much control. Good. Inhale, cobra, pinch your shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower. Good. Last one. Breathe in, cobra. Back of the neck is long. Exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Nice and slow. Press yourself back to child's pose. The same place we started. Notice any shift in sensation through your low back, through your upper back. And take three breaths here, imagining you have wings. And as you inhale, they flare out to the sides, expanding with your rib cage. And as you exhale, they nestle back in against your shoulder blades. Good. Two more like that, really big and slow. Good. You can stay keeping those breaths for a little side bending. Crawl your fingertips off towards the right. Big stretch through the left side body. Find two breaths here. Good. When you're ready, crawl back to center. Send your fingertips off to the other side. Big stretch through the right side body. Finding what you need for two breaths. Good, return to center, clap your palms to touch, and then lift your fingertips up towards the sky like a little shark fin. Take a moment here to keep that wing breath in your upper back, pushing your elbows down, dragging them back towards your body, just like in Sphinx, to open up through your upper back. Two full breaths here, visualizing the wings if that feels helpful to you. Good, when you're ready, release your hands to the earth, press yourself up into a tabletop position. We'll find some cat and cow here, but first spread your fingers really wide on the mat for a strong foundation. Feel the front of your body hugging up to meet the back body, really firm and secure even in this tabletop. And as you breathe in, drop your belly, lift your chin and your tailbone. Think about dragging your palms back towards your legs. Maybe rock forward and backward, side to side, just noticing what this feels like. Breathe in. As you breathe out, find cat pose, sending your heart up through your upper back, tucking your chin towards your chest. Same thing here. Take another breath or two just to settle into the shape. Notice what it feels like. 
And now we'll match breath to movement. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Find three more rounds of this on your own, moving at your pace with your breath. Nice job. Last round if you're going as completely slowly as I am. Nice job. All right. When you're done, you can have a seat back on your heels if that feels okay. If this is like close to feeling good, but not quite there, grab one of your blocks, put it between your butt and your feet, your shins. If it's still not happening, maybe try two blocks. And if you're like, this hurts my knees, Abby, then do literally anything else. All that matters here is you have some room to work with your strap. So grab your strap, hold it really wide between your hands to start here. We're gonna do some shoulder flossing, opening up through the shoulder, through the chest. You can be standing on your knees or seated. As you breathe in, reach your arms up and back as far as they'll go today. No need to push it, just notice what's here. And as you're at this top spot, keep breathing. Notice if your rib cage is way out and open, come out of this back bend a little bit. So draw your rib cage in. Good, breathe in. And as you exhale, bring your hands forward, pulling, pulling, pulling on the strap, stretching across the top of your shoulders. You can tuck your chin to your chest if that feels good. And now I invite you to find a little movement that matches your breath as you breathe in, you're opening and expanding. And as you breathe out, hands come forward. So keep going at your own pace. There is nothing wrong with your rib cage opening up as you do this back bend, but just notice that it's happening and you can choose to do this because it feels really good. Or if you're working on increasing this range of motion, you can practice with the rib cage held in, which is what really makes the shoulders find more space. So there's no wrong way. Let's do two more full flow rounds, all on your own. This is a really great thing to do if you have like 30 seconds in between meetings just to open up kind of an anti-slouch moment. All right, when you are done, you can set your strap off to the side. We won't use this until the very end of class, so get out of here. And we will now, two more things on our hands and knees and then we will um, stand up. So find tabletop position again. Solidify your foundation from the start, strong hands, front body hugs up. Send your right toes straight back and lift your leg up so it's in line with the rest of your body. Before we start to move the arms here, notice if you have opened up your hips. You can tell by reaching your hand underneath your tummy and seeing if you can feel for your hip points or feel that your legs are parallel to each other. Flex your toes back towards your shin. Think about kicking down the wall behind you. So you're thinking about lengthening out the heel here lengthening the inner leg line. You can stay just like this. If you want a little more, reach the left fingertips straight forward. And same thing with the hand. Think about like Gumby arms, lengthening, stretching. The longer you stay here and breathe, the longer your limbs become. Inhale. As you exhale, elbow to knee underneath you. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Arch your back slightly, feel your core engage. And as you breathe in, lengthen again with control. Good, exhale, elbow to knee underneath, really slow, really controlled. Inhale, lengthen and extend. Exhale, elbow to knee, we got two more. Do your best, inhale. And exhale, nice job, last one, you got it. Breathe in and expand. Exhale, elbow to knee and then release. Nice job, let's find this on the other side. Send your left toes straight back. Lift the left leg up in line with the rest of your torso. See if you can feel that your hips are like generally both facing down. It'll be pretty obvious if one is way up and back. Flex your toes back towards your shin. Kick into the wall behind you, really elongating through the leg. Again, you can stay here. You're building a lot of stability through your low back just from holding this. For a little more, reach the right fingertips forward. Take a moment to visualize becoming Gumby. You're getting longer in both directions. Breathe in. 
As you breathe out, elbow to knee underneath. We're holding here just for a moment. Feel your core engage. Feel the way your left hand, your right knee are supporting you here. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Good, inhale, expand. Exhale, elbow to knee, so good. We got two more, breathe in. Breathe out, last one, make it your very favorite one yet, inhale. And exhale, elbow to knee, and then release. Nice job. Come onto your left hand or wrist, send your right leg out long, open up into a modified side plank. No wrong way to do this. Right leg is long, your left knee is a kickstand. This is really about finding some length through both arms or to introduce a little movement. You're just checking in with any sort of stretching that feels good here. Pay attention to how the neck feels along the sides of your rib cage. Two more breaths here, you're just exploring. Nice job and when you're ready, come back to tabletop. And we'll find that on the other side. So right hand comes to the earth, left leg goes out long, right knee is a kickstand. Opening up, experimenting with a little movement, maybe moving the wrists in circles, rotating the whole arm in one direction and then the other. Find two more breaths here. Nice job, and when you're all done, return to tabletop. And then find a seat that's comfortable for you. Last thing, we're just gonna do a little bit of warming up through the wrists to prepare us for what comes next. So you're in your comfortable seat. You could even be standing on your knees. Interlace your hands and just start to draw a figure eight with your wrists. It can be a really gentle movement. You might be feeling some crunching. Okay, keep the breath going. Just noticing what it feels like to move the wrist in ways if you don't have an ergonomic mouth, maybe it's not been moving. Switch directions of your figure eight, moving in the, the weird direction. It's hard to do. I can't do it the other way. Nice job. Good, release your hands. Give your hands a little shake. Spread your hands wide like mime hands. We're stretching through all of the fingers. You can keep your arms a little more relaxed at your side if that's your preference. If you wanna keep active arms, it's up to you. We're gonna gently bring each finger to touch the thumb. So starting with the outside finger, the pinky, ooh, as it comes to touch toward the thumb, stretch all the other fingers and then release. Do the next finger in, maybe it's the ring finger. Ooh, stretching everything else and release, middle finger now, moving really slowly, wow. I'm always surprised by how intense these sensations are. Release, we'll do pointer fingers in now. Good, and now just work back out, just as slowly as you came in. So back to the middle finger, good. Amazing. And then pinky. Good, let that go. Give your hands a little shake. Spastic jazz hands. Ooh. <laughs> All right, these last two stretches can be done in the same position or if you would like to use the ground for a little more feedback, you might come into like a little tabletop crouch. First one is a stretch for the, um, the underside of your forearms. Bring your fingertips to the mat facing back towards your knees. And just see what it feels like to try to reach your palm towards the ground. It doesn't need to touch. You might even kind of like walk your hands like this. I always feel like a cat needing a blanket. So if the movement feels good to you, keep finding just like little shifts forward and backwards. If a static stretch feels better, breathe into it. Good, and then our last stretch here is for the other side of the wrist, for the top of the wrist. So bring the backs of your wrists onto the earth. Fingertips can point forward and start to curl your fingers back towards your wrist. You're stretching the skin of the top of your wrist against your mat. 
and there's no wrong way to do this, kind of move around, try this out until you find sensations that feel good to you. Again, this like kneading sensation might be feeling really nice, maybe something static. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, Siri, wow. She doesn't understand. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, all right, when you are all done, just give your hands another little shake and then we will meet in downward facing dog. I didn't even know I had Siri on this watch. Wow, what is happening? Okay, downward facing dog is where we are. Keep your fingers spread really wide. Use all that energy you've built up in your hands to support you here. Clawing at the mat with your fingertips like you're trying to palm a basketball. And then pushing the big knuckles, the one that connects fingers to hand into the earth, creating that little suction cup feeling through your palm. You might be walking out your feet here, finding what feels good, loosening up through the neck, breathe in, breathe out. Good, now walk your hands back towards your feet, walk your hands back towards your feet, release into ragdoll pose. Knees can be really bent, feet can be as wide as you want. Think about letting your spine grow longer to reach the ground. So maybe you're visualizing stress <laughs> coming from your low back, dripping all the way down off the top of your head. Maybe you're thinking about all your scrunched little vertebrae finally lengthening after a day of sitting. Wiggle your jaw, open and close your mouth. Good, and when you're ready, Bring your hands to your hip creases, bend your knees even more, lift yourself up to stand. <sighs> all right, we should all be at the very backs of our mats. We're gonna do a little bit of a different sun A here. It's gonna be a lot of stuff on the wrist. We warmed up to prepare for that, but if this isn't gonna feel good to you, you can skip the stuff we're gonna be doing that hurts your wrists. All right, so find a comfortable distance of your feet apart from each other. And as you breathe in, find mountain pose, reaching your arms up high. As you exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Good, as you inhale, find a back bend, but maybe think about doing a big snow angel. Arms go out and then back. Good, squeeze your glutes to support your low back. As you inhale, stay here. Exhale, standing cat pose. Bring your arms forward. Send your heart out your back. Stay here for a moment and breathe. You can zombie your arms straight forward or maybe you bring your hands up like you're making this stop motion. If that's too much sensation through the arms, keep the zombie arm. And let's do that one more time. Inhale, snow angel back bend, opening up. Exhale, standing cat. Nice job. Inhale, mountain pose, neutral spine. And as you exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Good, as you inhale, walk your hands forward to a high plank, walking forward to a high plank. Pause and breathe here for a moment, charge up your legs. Imagine that you're hugging your belt buckle up towards your face. <laughs> what am I saying? Hug your arms towards each other to activate your pecs. Gaze straight down at your mat. Think about lengthening the back of your neck. Breathe in here. And as you exhale, lower all the way to your belly. You might drop to your knees first. Inhale, cobra pose, lift your heart. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, tabletop or high plank, press straight up. Exhale, walk your hands back to a forward fold, high plank to forward fold. There we go, good. Now inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, now we'll flow through. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, snow angel back bend. Exhale, standing cat. Again, like that. Inhale, snow angel back bend, open up. Exhale, standing cat. Nice job. Inhale, mountain reach straight up. Exhale, fold forward with soft knees. Inhale, high plank, crawl forward. Exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, walk your hands back to your feet, forward fold. Let's go through one more time. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, snow angel, back bend. Exhale, standing cat. Another time like that. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, standing cat. Beautiful job. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high plank, walk it forward. Exhale, lower to your belly with control. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, nice job. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, walk it back to downward, forward fold, <laughs> forward fold. All right, now walk it out once more, just to downward facing dog. We're done with the walk forwards and the walk backs. If you hated it, you never have to do it again. We're gonna move on, start to warm up some larger muscle groups here. As you breathe in, kick your right leg up high. And as you exhale, bend your right knee, let your right hip open up. Find whatever feels good here. Maybe you're drawing circles with the knee. Maybe you're letting gravity drag your right foot closer towards the earth. Wherever you are, you're here for four, for three, for two, and one. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, thigh to chest. Squeeze your knee towards your nose. Good. Hold here. Hold here. You got it. Inhale, right leg high. We've got two more of those. Exhale, right knee towards the right elbow. Towards the right elbow. You're doing amazing. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow. See what a twist feels like? Can you lift your knee up a little higher? Good. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. It's okay if it takes you a few steps to get there. Lower your left knee to the ground. Inhale, kneeling crescent lunge. Stay here and breathe. You can keep your back toes tucked or untuck them. And for this one, if it feels okay in your hips, you might let them kind of pull forward as much as it feels good. So you can be as upright as you want to be, but if it feels good to start to let the hips sink, you might do that. You can keep your hands on your hips or maybe your low back for support. To find a little back bend here, invitation to reach your arms up and think about squeezing the back glute and then lifting up through your heart center, manifesting space across your chest, noticing the effort it takes to find this openness, staying connected to that stable foundation, breathe in here. Exhale, half split, straighten the right leg any amount. This is where blocks might come in handy. You can use one on each side of you. This is all about stretching through the underside of the right leg. So find whatever you need. Find a sensation that feels good there. I like to point and flex the toes, send them side to side, checking in with all of the hamstrings. Can you relax your neck a little more? Good, now start to lunge back into that kneeling crescent lunge, tuck your back toes. Here comes a big transition. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Reach your arms forward, up and back. Woo. And then another invitation here, if you wanna take this a little further is to find that back bend again. So squeezing the back glute, reaching up out of the hips, maybe back. Palms might touch for a little more opening through the upper back. You can find that same little sharp spin Reverse namaste arms here. Wherever you are, stick with it. Keep breathing. Keep driving your left hip forward. Tugging the right hip back in space. Breathe in here. Breathe out. What could you soften? Nice job. Inhale, warrior two. Spin open. Adjust your legs as you need to. You can bend and straighten into this strong right leg. But settle into stillness thinking about stability through the lower legs. Push both feet into the ground, then drag them towards each other. Imagine that you're spiraling this inner inseam of your front leg up and back. This is external rotation in the right hip. 
send your fingertips out long and like their gumby arms, can you visualize them growing even longer, shooting energy out your fingertips? Maybe give your arms a wiggle, inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward and down, left arm high. I invite you to find a balance of effort and ease in this shape. So ask yourself, do I need a little more effort, a little more fire? Maybe you reach the right arm up like you're holding a big beach ball overhead. If a little more ease, a little more restfulness would feel good, rest the right arm on the leg. Use arm against leg to twist your heart up. This is up to you. Good. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. Find what you need for this to feel good. You might pop the toes up. You might press the big toe into the earth. Think about lengthening along your right inner leg line and all up your right rib cage, out your right fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge to high plank to your belly. Lots of things for one breath. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Good, inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, let's go through nice and slow on the left side. Inhale, kick your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hips. Find whatever feels best for you here for four, for three, for two, and one. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, thigh towards your chest. Hold it for a moment. Feel your strength here. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee towards the left elbow. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You got it. Inhale, left leg high. So strong. Exhale, left knee towards the right elbow. Think about lifting the knee up. So good. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Take as many steps as you need to get there. Lower the back knee down. As you inhale, reach forward, up and back, kneeling crescent lunge. Adjust as you need to to feel good here. This is a big stretch for the front of the right hip. And start to play. Notice the difference between a passive right glute and an activated right glute. Feel the difference in sensation through your right hip. Notice the support shift through your low back. If you want a chest opener, an upper back opener here, you might find a little back bend. Maybe you clap your palms to touch. Find that same namaste, <laughs> reverse namaste here. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, find uh half splits on this side straightening through the right leg the left leg use your blocks as you need to they have so many different heights it's really likely that our bodies need something different on this side so don't be afraid to give that to yourself three more breaths here Nice job, start to lunge back into the left knee, tuck your back toes to activate your back leg. And as you inhale, reach forward, up and back as much as feels good. High crescent lunge with an optional little back bend. Think about driving the right hip forward, use the power of your glutes. Maybe you bring a slight bend to the back knee to help you drive the stability through the hips. If you're finding a back bend, think more about lifting up than going back. The back bend will come as your body feels supported enough to open more. Take one more breath in here. One more breath out, nice job. Inhale, warrior two. Find your footing. Bend and straighten as you need to so you can settle into some fiery stability through the legs. This time just for fun. Push your feet down and think about tearing the mat apart underneath you. Neither of these are more right than the other. It's just a different way to think about the engagement and the like energetic sensations you're bringing to the mat. So play with them both and see what feels best to you, but definitely do something on purpose. Peel your fingertips long, gaze over your front fingers, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Choose your own adventure here. Could you engage a little more through your core and a little more through the back leg? 
Soften where you can with one more breath in. One more breath out, nice job. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reverse triangle. Stretching through the left side body. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge, high plank and lower to your belly. Move slowly, move carefully. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog, nice. All right, we're gonna flow through this just once, matching breath to movement. Inhale, kick your right leg high. Exhale, thigh to chest. Yes, you can. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. You got it, you got it. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Yes, you can. Inhale, right leg high. So good. Exhale, low lunge. Lower the left knee. Inhale, kneeling lunge, maybe a back bend. Exhale, standing split, send your fingertips back like airplane arms. Good, tuck your back toes, inhale, high crescent lunge, forward, up and back. Exhale, hands to heart, beautiful. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg. Exhale, make your way down to your belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Last side, you got it. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, thigh towards your chest. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Yes, you can. Inhale, left leg high. Tell yourself that you can. Inhale, left knee towards the right tricep. So strong. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, make your way there. Lower the right knee, inhale, kneeling crescent, optional back bend. Exhale, standing split, straighten the left leg, fingertips go back. Back into the left knee, inhale, high crescent. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, good job. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, make your way to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, lower to your knees. You can grab a little drink of water if you want one. We're gonna do a little belly down spine strengthening. And then if there's time, we'll do some balancing, but we might just stretch it out after that. There's no more knee to elbow, knee to nose stuff. Carl seems relieved. <laughs> All right, beautiful. When you're ready, meet me laying down on your tummy for a couple more sets of Cobra, et cetera. So your body's pretty warmed up right now. This is the shape we've been playing with so far. So I invite you to see um, with the power of your breath, uh, what kind of deepening might be possible for you. And I encourage you to find your edge today. So that means what feels like the best you can offer today. It doesn't mean like the deepest you've ever gone or it really just means the best. So just something to think about while we do something sort of challenging. So send your legs back behind you. Legs can be zipped up or a little wider for more stability. But before you start to lift up your chest, cricket your elbows behind you. Push your legs into the floor. Feel your legs start to strengthen and engage. Push your pelvis into the ground. Feel that stability through your low back. And then with a big breath in, cobra pose, peel your heart up. If there's weight in your hands, push it down, pull it back towards your hips to open up your heart. Keep breathing here. Can you create more space between your shoulders and your ears? One more breath in. As you exhale, lower all the way to your belly, relax everything, rest one ear onto the mat. How quickly can you make this be totally passive, moving from effort 
straight to Eve. Feel your breath. Notice your heart beating. Nice job. Bring your chin back to center. Send your arms out to a T. And this time, we're going to lift the arms and the legs. So start by lifting up your toes any amount. Think about pressing your pelvis down. And with your torso still down, you can think about engaging through the legs. So use your inner thigh muscles to zip your legs up more. And then think about lifting your legs from the front top of your hips. And maybe you're like, I got it. This is amazing. Experiment with starting to lift your chest up any amount into locust pose. And if you're feeling some really uncomfortable sensations in your low back, just come out of it. But if you're feeling strong, you're wobbling a little bit, but you're staying with that push and pull, keep working with it. Thinking about lifting through the legs, lifting through the chest, expanding the arms out to the sides. You have one more breath in. You're doing great. And as you exhale, lower down, rest your opposite cheek on the mat, rest here. Cool, with our last one here, you can repeat any of the two we've done so far. For floor bow, kick your heels towards your glutes, reach for the outside edges of your feet, and this time it is important to keep our knees as close to each other as we can just to protect your knees. So wiggle your legs as close as they feel like going today. And before you start to lift your chest, begin to kick your feet into your hands. Feel the way that kick, the strength of your legs starts to peel your heart up into this little bow and arrow shape. And from here, play with gently rocking on your tummy, experimenting with how hard you can kick, how much you can lift your chest up. Think about engaging your glutes and lifting your hamstrings to the sky. Nice job. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, lay all the way down. Rest one cheek on the mat. Last little belly down rest time here. We're skipping the balancing, I just decided. How about a shoulder stretch? We're already almost there. Shoulder pigeon. Send your arms back out to a T. Let's go onto the left side first. Start to gently roll towards the left shoulder. You might send right toes back behind you. Maybe they stay on top of each other. Make whatever adjustments you need so that the stretch through your left pec in the left front of your shoulder feels good. Three breaths here. Nice job, return to center. We'll go off towards the opposite side this time. Noticing as you go what feels different on this side. There's nothing wrong, it's just information. Three big breaths to the places where you're feeling the most tension. Good, return to center. And press yourself back to child's pose, right where we started. Notice the way your body feels here. Notice the length of your arms. Any openness through the upper back. Length of the spine. Space through the hips and low back. Take three big breaths here, visualizing the wings if that's helpful but just making any observations about where in your body you might still offer a little love before class is over. Nice job. 
And as you're ready, you can press yourself up into a tabletop. Plant your left hand in the middle of your mat, maybe your left fist if you're feeling some wrist sensitivity. As you inhale, draw the right arm high. And as you exhale, thread the needle. Right arm comes under this bridge by the left. Find a twist that feels good in your upper back. To intensify, push your right arm into the ground and find that same, that friction against the earth that pulls your skin a little tighter. Two more slow breaths. Good job. Bring your left hand back to a steady part of the earth. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, tabletop. Let's do that on the other side. Breathe in, peel the left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Settling into whatever you need on this side. Stretching across the upper left shoulder, giving the spine a nice little twist. Go ahead, bring your right palm back to center. Inhale, left arm high. And exhale back to tabletop. Nice job. Now make your way sitting flat onto your butt with your feet out in front of you. You can send your arms behind you for support, but don't collapse down into them. Stay proud and lifted through the chest. We're going to find some windshield wipers with the legs. So just gently drop both knees off towards one side. And breathe here. The leg that, all right, I went, I should have just told you to go to the left. The leg that's the direction you're going, you're going to feel internal rotation through the hips. So if you're going to the left, that's the right side. If it feels uncomfortable, because we don't do this with our hips very often. So as long as it's not pinching and painful, breathe into it. As you breathe in, lift your knees back to center. And your exhale takes them off to the other side. Feeling that internal rotation in the other leg, noticing. Any sensations spreading to other parts of the body, breathing through it. And now we'll find a little flow. Inhale, knees to center. Exhale, drop to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop to the right. Let's do that one more time through. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, nice job. Bring your knees back to center. We'll find a figure four shape here. So cross the right ankle over your left knee. Toes flex back towards your shin. This is too much already. Wiggle this left foot away from you, making the angle with your hips a little wider. And if you want more, bring your left foot as close as you can to your butt. You can stay right here, breathing into that big external rotation in the right hip. If you wanna play with a little more movement, you might try to simulate that same windshield wiper movement going from side to side, just noticing how it feels. Good, and let's switch sides as you're ready. Left foot comes up on top of the right knee. Before you start moving, we'll go to the biggest version of the stretch. Check in with what it feels like on this side. And then you can start to make some decisions about what you need. Introducing movement only if it feels good. Nice job. You can let this side go whenever you're ready. Send both legs long out in front of you. Wiggle any booty flesh out from underneath you. Flex your toes back towards your shins. Legs are long and strong as you breathe and reach your fingertips high. 
And as you exhale, leaning forward at the hips, let your fingertips fall wherever they may. Finding forward fold that feels best here. Maybe knees are really bent and you're finding a hug. Maybe it feels better to have the legs straight and play with a little side to side rocking as your low back and hamstrings find a little more space. Two more breaths here. Gently roll back up to a tall seat and grab for your strap as you make your way onto your back. Laying down all the way flat on your back. Plant your left foot on the ground and send your right foot up. You're gonna grab the strap with your foot. So strap underneath foot, whatever. Your left leg can be straight if that feels okay in your low back, but it can also be bent for a little more support. Flex your right toes back towards your face. Start to kick your heel up towards the ceiling and just breathe here. Finding a little tug on the strap with your arms, finding that oppositional force, kicking the foot away, noticing lengthening through the back of the leg, inhale. And as you exhale, open your leg off towards the right, finding that openness through the right hip. Keep kicking through the right heel. And see if you might let your shoulders relax down towards the ground. Gently bring the right leg back to center. Hold the strap with your left hand. Bring your right hand onto your right hip crease. Think about pinning your right hip down to the ground. Flex your toes back towards your shin and let your right leg come like any amount across your torso. This will be probably a pretty small movement to feel big sensation through the outside of the right leg. Breathe into any discomfort here. Three more breaths. Good, return the leg to center, and then we'll switch out our legs. So right leg comes to the ground, right foot, left foot comes into the strap. Set up by flexing the toes back towards the shin, tugging on the strap, kicking the left heel long, breathing here for three breaths. When you're ready, you can open up through the left hip, sending your toes off to the side, however much they want to go. Knee can be as bent as you need it to be. Bring your leg back to center. Hold the strap with your right hand. Pin your left hip to the ground. Flex your toes back towards your shin and then find a little movement through the leg across the body. Four breaths here, still kicking through the heel. Nice job. Return to center, let your foot go out of the strap. And if you have a block, Bring it onto the left side of your body as a little help for the twist we're about to do. Send your left leg long, bring your right leg into your chest, give it a squeeze. And then draw your right leg across your body. Let your hips stack on top of each other. If your knee doesn't touch the ground comfortably, use a block underneath it. See if you might let both shoulders anchor into the ground. This is going to make your knee pop up a little more. So use the block however you'd like. And take four breaths here, either to your belly button or to your upper back, whichever feels a little more challenging.
When you're ready, bring the right knee back in, give it a hug. And then trade it out for the left knee. You might move your block to the other side if it was useful. Breathe in and squeeze. And as you exhale, left knee comes across the body. Stack your hips. Adjust your shoulders so the back of your heart space is on the ground. Same thing here, four breaths. Where can you soften and allow a relief? Can you relax your face more? Good. Bring your left leg back to center. Hug the right knee up to meet it. Find happy baby, stamping both feet on the ceiling, grabbing for whatever is accessible. And when you're ready, draw yourself into a teeny tiny ball. Knees squeeze towards each other, feet squeeze towards your butt, nose and knees squeeze towards each other. Breathe in. And as you're ready, unwind yourself into a resting shape that feels really good on your back. For more low back support, you can knock your knees towards each other with your feet on the ground. You might let yourself fidget for a moment while you get comfortable, but then commit to stillness in your body and a soft, focused attention in your mind. Let your breath fill up your whole body. Wherever you feel contact with the ground beneath you, can you let go and let your body be heavy? Relax the space between your eyes. Feel into a spaciousness around your brain. Noticing space behind your ears, up the back of your scalp. Soften your jaw and relax your tongue. See if you might relax your shoulders a little more. Feeling them from the inside out. Soften your hands. And keep tracing your body down towards your toes like this, softening whatever you notice. And if you notice your mind has drifted away, take a big breath and let your body relax again with your exhale as many times as you need to do this. And stay right here if this feels really good. Just breathing and being with yourself. 
If you're ready to be guided out, start to deepen your breath and bring little movements to your wrists and your ankles. Expanding this movement outward, making it bigger until you find yourself in a big full body stretch. Noticing the space you've built through your whole body, noticing openness and softness. And when you're ready, roll on to your favorite side for fetal pose, resting your head on your strong bicep. And then we've left a couple moments of stillness before you're welcome to crashing back in. Know that you can reset anytime. The peace you feel right now lives within you all along. You can always tap into your breath and that sense of ease and softness to find yourself in difficult moments. With your eyes closed or soft, press yourself up to a seat. And we'll close with three big breaths together. Rest your hands somewhere that feels nice. And as you breathe in, lift through your heart, inhale. Breathe out through your mouth, let it go. Again, like that, inhale and expand. And breathe out, release. Last one, breathe in, biggest breath of all Wednesday. And your biggest breath out. <sighs> Lift your palms to touch at heart center. Lift them up to the space between your eyebrows, merging the wisdom of the heart and your intuition. I bow in gratitude to each of you. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with us. Cool. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're feeling a little more centered and calm, maybe a little more open through the chest and the heart. Um, Next week, oh my goodness, next week is the first week of May, which means class is in the morning. And then on other Wednesday evenings in the month, we'll be back to evening. So if you have questions, requests, feedback, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Um, but until next time, keep taking really good care of yourself.